Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the SU Coaches Corner. I'm Bobby Clyde here with new head football coach Tom Perkovich. Now, coach, I'm sure going from Muhlenberg to Susquehanna has been a big transition. How's that transition been going the last few weeks? It's been great. Uh, just a lot of work, a little bit of a whirlwind, trying to meet with uh, people on campus, different departments, uh, coaches in the department, um, trying to get recruiting going mm -hmm. at a higher level, getting the staff on that. I'm still a little short staff, so we're, we're trying to get through that. Um, but I think we're, we have a good, good base in recruiting right now, trying to hire a new staff mm -hmm. uh, and to replace some people and, and fill some spots that were open and also to get our strength and conditioning going uh, okay. with our players. I, I, you know, they're, they started last uh, Sunday and it's been a good first week and a half. Okay. Now, I, I know you're in the middle of uh, looking for a new defensive coordinator. We talked about this last week. How's that search been going? It's been great. We've uh, we've actually come to terms with a, with a, with a coach. Uh, I don't want to say his name and jump the gun, but mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty sure he's going to be here on the 16th of the month. Okay. Uh, we're excited about him. He's got a lot of experience, uh, especially at the one double A level, so a higher level coming okay. down, uh, which you know will, I think will help our help our defense. Now at Muhlenberg last season, your offense averaged over 430 yards a game and 38 points a game. Are you going to try to kind of use that offense, that high pace, high power offense, and initiate it here into Susquehanna's offense? No doubt about it. Uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. So mm -hmm. we know we know the teams we went against last year are in the same league. We had a lot of success. Uh, you know, and even in the playoffs, we had a, a, almost 500 yards against Widener. Okay. You know, so we're we're excited to bring that system here and and just kind of. You know, pull, put put people in place there, and, and make sure we're really successful, and try to match those numbers if we can or exceed them. Mm -hmm. um, might be hard in the first year, but we're going to give our give it our best shot. Now, going from one Centennial Conference rival to another, I'm sure you know a lot about all the other teams in the conference. How is that going to help you as the season gets closer to preparing for games week in and week out? I think when you have familiarity with people, there's a comfort level, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we're. I have to get the new staff on board a little bit. There's some guys that are holdovers. They'll know the league a little bit, but okay. um, I'm excited to be able to game plan against teams that I know what they're going to do. You know, all their intricacies, uh, the trick things they do, the trick plays they're going to run, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that stuff and preparing our kids for that, those things are, uh, you know, is going to be good for us. Because if you're in a new league, you don't have that opportunity. You're trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. this will be an advantage, definitely, for us and for me coming here. Now, Obviously, with a new coach, new school, you have to implement, implement a new system. How important is it to have leaders like Jim Barry on the defensive end and Nick Krusko coming back for his sophomore year on the offensive end, kind of make an easier transition for them into this new system? Well, I think with having good players, you know, that, that will help mm -hmm. uh, with the transition. Obviously, things are going to be new for them also, and, and that's always uh, an interesting dynamic. Um, mm -hmm. But we're excited to have good players that work hard, and Jim really embodies that. You know, being going to be a two-time captain, um, you know, when your best players are your hardest workers, you have a, a great shot to uh, be successful, and, and he really embodies that. And then you got a really good uh, prospect at quarterback, and, and, you know, you look at all the good teams around the country, most of them have a good good quarterback so mm -hmm. to have a good guy that's been in the in the fray will help us I think going forward. Now I know we're a long way from next fall you still have spring practice and going into the summer but what kind of expectations and goals do you have going into the spring workouts and even into the summer as you get closer to the season? My really goals are just to take it one day at a time you know don't don't try to look to the last game don't try to look to Juniata let's look at like homing right away mm -hmm. and make sure that uh, you know what we're doing right now is just preparing us for that game. And, and then we'll, we'll worry about the teams after that. Uh, and if we work hard every day and put our best foot forward, we'll, we'll be successful. Winning's a byproduct of, of doing things the right way with detail, with organization, and, and having hard work. So we'll be successful. Our kids, you know, each and every day will take care of things, and, and we're, we're excited for the future. But I don't want to say we're going to be, you know, 10-0 and 0 next year, you know, and then we're not, and then there's false hope. But I'm excited for just a, a good season going forward, playing for our seniors and making sure their season is the best it can be. Absolutely. One step at a time. Coach, thank you for joining me, and good luck as we get into the spring and even towards the next fall and into the season. All right. Thanks, Bobby.